Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and in front of us we have what I hope you think is quite an interesting lock, actually. This is a Godredge 70mm uh, discus lock with what looks like a Kaba style key, and this is a genuine 9 pin dimple lock. Um, comes with three keys, and what's interesting is that the, the three axes of pins are all to the um, well, bottom left and right of the lock, you can see the pins in there, which means that you have the, the bitting here, which is um, at the top, the side, and the bottom. And of course, it um, can flip over and you get the same, uh, whichever way up you put the key. So kind of cool, if you ask me. Um, I'll show you the packaging this came in in a, in a minute, but let's, let's just explore picking this lock first, and then uh, we'll have a look at the packaging and we'll, we'll go from there. So. First thing is I'm just going to use these strong neodymium magnets to stick to this um, uh, anti-drill plate at the front. Put some tension in. And apply some moderate tension. Let's see where we get to. So picking the bottom pins first. Two, three. Pin um, one at the bottom there, and I think we're in a bit of a false set, or almost picked. I think. Let's swap tension around a bit so I can see what I'm doing a bit better, a bit more comfortable maybe. Top pins or the left pins, should I say? All the pins at the back. Three, two, one. And yep, yeah, we're open. There we go. Got open. That was pin two at the left hand side of the lock. Okay. So that didn't take a very long time to pick, but it wasn't immediately easy. Um and then looked at the key and thought, well, could it be rakeable? Okay, so let's let's reset this. There we go, all locked up. And I thought, Do you know what? I never ever ever get a chance to use um, one of those dimple rakes. So let's give that a go. Here is one of those. Chinese um, dimple rakes. Um, let's give it a go at raking this now. So put that in. Mind that out of the way for two secs so I'll put the, the rake in. Okay, and And oh, there we go. We've got an open. So it's it's quite low security. You know, we're not talking a ten out of ten lock here. Um, it's relatively low security. It can be raked. Um, one thing I like about this as a as a lock picker is I I just don't get the opportunity to um, find locks where these Chinese dimple rakes actually work in. So for my collection, uh, by way of demonstration, I I love the fact that I can use the, these Secure Pro. Um, sort of uh, rates to, to rake open this nine pin dimple lock. But does all of that, the picking uh, and the raking, make this a bad lock? Well, I would say actually this is a step in the right direction. Have a look at the packaging. This lock, uh, made by Godredge, is uh, from India, imported through China, it says so on the box. and. You know, my experience of Chinese and Indian locks are that they are generally not so good and the um, the language and grammar used on packaging is generally not so good. Not the case here. I actually think that um, there has been some thought and a bit of care and, and uh, professionalism with this lock. So I actually rate it maybe a little bit higher than you might expect. Um, it says high security, no surprise. But look at the back, this is a surprise, and I think a few lock manufacturers out there, very, very well-known ones, could learn a bit from this. Look, 
Security strength, two out of five. I would rate this a solid two out of five. I would. It's very clear on the back. It looks like a company that is serious and actually cares. It tells you what the product code is. It's got a year guarantee. It even gives you in India a toll-free number to call um, and also an international uh, number in case you want to call them from outside of India. Um, it tells you all the company uh, details and the the um, and email addresses and a website. I mean, genuinely, I, I, I've got to give it to them. This is actually pretty honest. It also tells you all about the type of the lock, which says it's a hardened steel shackle and uh, anti-drill plate with a brass cylinder. It looks brass inside, um, I have to say, uh, with a body of a stainless steel and um, stainless steel weather cap. And when I test this with the strong neodymium magnets, I have to say that this does feel like um, a uh, it's weakly magnetic. I, I would hazard that this is a cheap stainless steel, one of the ferric stainless steels. That's why it's mildly magnetic. It just about holds a magnet on. But the shackle, you probably hear straight away that kind of snap, um, it is definitely made of something harder and 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 ferrous. Whether it's really hard and steel or not, I don't know. But everything else on the pack is quite honest, so I don't see why not. And same with that anti-drill plate here. You can probably hear that, can't you, just the way it sort of snaps up. Oh. Snaps on there. Um, that that probably is um, a hardened steel and draw plate as well. So, pick resistance, nothing outstanding. Uh, raking resistance, again, nothing outstanding. It's a shame it can be raked on these cheap dimple picks. Um, but if you look at the package, security strength two. Look at the price delivered. It was about ten pounds, about I don't know twelve dollars, something like that, ten uh, US dollars. I've got to say that I actually don't think this is bad. You know, I'd use it in a very low security application, maybe, but um, I, I, I don't think this is actually a terrible lock for the price and for its own self-assessment, which I think is really honest. So, yeah, I all I can say is I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you enjoy this lock. Um, it's certainly worth checking out if you can find one on eBay or something. I think if you get a, a good price on it, it's a, it's a bit of fun and it's a you know good lock to demonstrate um, sort of these these cheap dimple rakes with. All right, I will see you next time.